Back at the time when I was a software engineer, I was always wondering, what are all those flavors of architects are doing in ID field? What is the difference? After 10 years contributing as an architect, I believe have grasped the difference and would like to share it with the broader community. What is architecture? In IT there are many types of architecture, but the most common terms are solution and software architecture. Both, however, are only defining the way output should look like, but not the way to reach it. Some name architecture's primary activity is system design, for example application design and system interaction. Some believe that one always does a solution design. For the large enterprises, the most common is a split into technology, solution and enterprise architecture. Technology architect most of the times TAs are doing system design using a particular technology where they have proficient experience achieving high degree of technical excellence. Typically, TAs obtain one core skill or platform and utilize it to achieve the most efficient outcome. TAs are rarely generalists and most commonly have just one minus two strong areas of expertise. For instance, web architect commonly designs web-only solutions and is not participating at architecting mobile solutions. Data architect may know several data analytic platforms, but rarely contributes to integration architecture of operational systems. Regular technology architect typically has strong back-end engineering and system design skills, architecting solutions over one or two platforms. For example, technology architect with strong skills in building business applications over Java stack may contribute to design of net apps, but barely will be as proficient in building low latency apps with C. In short, typical technology architect is an Uber tech led who has strong system design skills and most commonly such person represents one or more DEV teams. Solution architect I believe this is one of the most confusing architects role. It has rather different meaning in different environment, but ultimately it's about solution design. Most common example of the solution decision would be build the system versus buy commercial off the shelf solution. I define solution design as an activity to find a solution to a problem. In other words, solution architect is a person searching for an answer to a complex questions. Let's build some examples. Solution architect at Hyperscaler, for example, AWS, would have a client-facing role, deep diving into customers' needs and suggesting most efficient ways to use particular services available at one's cloud company. Solutions are mostly a combination of available services, rarely having bespoke development. Solution architect within non-tech enterprise would have major exposure to business non-ID representatives building solutions for their problems typically utilizes TAs as experts in a particular technologies to produce the most efficient designs. Solutions are mostly software including off the shelf, packaged and bespoke, but not only. Solution architect within a large software vendor, for example SAP or Salesforce, behaves more like an expert in how to apply a particular platform to a specific problem, deep diving into detailed implementation discussions. Solutions are PRE defined, but fine-tuned to particular business processes of a client. Generalist solution architect typically requires a strong technical background, however, there are lots of cases when solution architect may not have technology background at all. The most common interaction model for solution architect is to rely on experts from different areas and backgrounds, and combining an input from all the parties searching for a solution. For instance, business analysts may come up with detailed process description, technology architect might highlight limitations of selected technology, business stakeholder might highlight where the largest revenue opportunities are, subject matter experts might give a clear picture on their needs and industry standards, etc. Vice versa, solution architect may identify the required solution would need an updated business process and ask process designer to create new business process. Outcome of solution architecture activity could be anything which solves an issue in an effective way, software application, business process, reorganization, business model change, etc. Solution architect keeps in mind budgets, timeline, available technologies, organizational structure, business needs and goals, etc. Enterprise architect I believe enterprise architect has two major meanings, someone who looks after overall technical landscape and solution decisions across streams and projects. Could be named as enterprise solution architect or enterprise technology architect. Someone who looks after overall ID landscape and decisions where business capabilities would be implemented. 
While the first meaning is ultimately an Uber solution architect or technology architect, the second is a completely different type of architect an engineer may expect. More common, enterprise architect looking at ID systems as an asset, which enables different user groups to achieve their needs. Typically, enterprise architect helps business to define what business capabilities it has or should have. More about business capabilities at this blog. Overseeing all the ID landscape as an asset, including infrastructure, software vendors, service providers, data sets, business processes, etc., allows to build a full picture of how company utilizes ID solutions to achieve its goals. Example, having Microsoft's Excel in the company is fine, however it could be not technically feasible to implement some capabilities. Using Excel for project planning might be okay, even for a large enterprise, whilst using it for customer transaction management and financials is suboptimal and insecure, due to many additional requirements, such as audit, performance and scalability. Part of enterprise architect role is to find all types of use of all applications and ensure they're fit for purpose. Report the ones which are not feasible, non-desirable, out of support, etc. to senior technology leadership, for example CTO. The goal of the enterprise architect practice is to ensure every ID decision is made with eyes wide open on all of the existing solutions which requires keeping an audit of all of the ID systems, business capabilities, data sets, tech providers, business capabilities, etc. For large enterprises, having a thousand systems is not a limit, and definitely some would have overlapping capabilities. Reducing duplicates may free up to 5 minus 10 of ID budget, which could be millions per annum. Ensuring a decommission plan for existing solutions exists when replacement is planned may free up to 5% of ID budget. More. Architecture and engineering believe technology architecture is undetachable from engineering roles and shouldn't be thought as a separate job track. System design task is something could be done by both senior engineers and technology architects. The only difference is that technology architect may define patterns, while senior engineer may apply those patterns, building new systems with similar non-functional requirements. A good example here would be the creation of APIs. Every technology architect should be capable to define contracts and specifications, whilst not every senior engineers or tech-led may define it optimally from scratch. From another perspective, technology architect which doesn't know how would quality engineer interact with the backend engineer may choose the wrong toolset for automated testing. For a good technology architect should have a clear vision on the team composition and a set of expectations how they'd interact. I hope the above example makes it clear that an effective technology architect should not only be good at system design, but also have a very good understanding how exactly it would be implemented. Takeaways while there are more activities done by each of the architect roles, I believe that this blog covers the difference in architecture activities. Enterprise architecture has the largest impact on the enterprise, typically looking on all of the IT systems as assets. Keeping audit of such and ensuring company resources are spent wisely rarely contributes to solution design activities and should not do system design at all. EAs typically talks to senior leadership roles and contribute to technology strategy, ensuring it's applied to solutions later on. Solution architecture all about solution design. For generalist essays, technical background is typically a must-have. For SAs, working with particular platform or product technical background could be optional. May have optional system design tasks. Typically spends a ton of time with business and program managers. Technical architecture about implementing a particular capability over a particular technology web, mobile, data, etc. in the most efficient way. Mostly about system design, but common to have solution design when only a single platform present in the company typically spends most of their time with DEV team and product owners. I'd like to highlight that these roles does not represent a career ladder, instead represents very different roles with vastly different focus. For smaller companies, roles blend a lot, typically without a differentiation between solution architect and technology architect. If you enjoyed the video, please do like the video and share with your friends. For more interesting videos, please do subscribe the channel.